Gurdjieff's father was dying. His last words to Gurdjieff are immensely significant. Perhaps no father has ever advised his son with such a great insight. And Gurdjieff was only nine years old. So the father said, I know you may not be able to understand right now what I am saying, but I have no more time. I have to say it now. But you have time, just remember the words. Whenever you have maturity enough to understand what those words mean, then act on those words. But don't forget, remember, a simple sentence it is. He told Gurdjieff to repeat three times the sentence so he can die peacefully. And he said, forgive me because I am not leaving any inheritance to you except this sentence. And what was this sentence? A very simple sentence. He said, remember that if somebody creates anger in you, tell the person that you will come after 24 hours to answer him. And for 24 hours, wait. And after 24 hours, whatever comes to you, go and do. A strange advice, but not a strange if you understand. And this simple advice changed Gurdjieff's whole life. This single sentence made a man like George Gurdjieff. That kind of man is created in centuries. But the old man must have been a man of great insight. He left nothing else. He said to his son that now you will have to look after yourself. Your mother is dead, I am dying. You will have to earn your bread, you will have to learn things on your own. A nine-year-old child, but this became a great opportunity for him, because he started moving with nomads. He was born near Caucasus in Russia. Still there are nomads. Wandering tribes. Even sixty years of communist torture has not been able to settle down those nomads because this they consider to be man's birthright. And perhaps they are right. Everybody seems to be terribly interested in yoga. They want to keep young and beautiful. It's now yoga has now become a business affair like everything else. They are teachers of yoga all over the world and they are coining money as usual. Yoga doesn't mean merely to keep your body healthy, normal, active. 
intelligent, but also it meant the meaning of that word in Sanskrit means joined together. So to have very deeply orderly moral ethical life, not just merely take various postures, that was the real meaning of the highest form of yoga.